I think we've always understood that what happens early in life is important. We've always un understood that the love and responsive caretaking of uh, caregivers is important to infants. What's exciting and different now is that we understand that at a level of um, scientific knowledge that's increasing by the year. We understand it at the level of brain development, of genetic expression, and also how it links to later health outcomes. So we have a growing appreciation that brains are built over time, that they're built from the bottom up, and that that brain development occurs in the context of relationship. Before we can see things, the brain is being organized and genes are being expressed. So you take language, for example. It's tremendously important. Uh, the language that, that children are exposed to, that it's a, a rich environment, that um, they're talked to and responded to in, in a way that is sensitive and attuned. And all of that is preparing the brain, laying down the pathways that'll lead to healthy, robust language development. So when they begin to speak, much of the work has already been done. Another thing that's important about that period of zero to three is it's the time of greatest opportunity. It's when uh, the sensitive periods are um, uh, um, create the most potential for healthy development and also the potential to compromise development. And the relative strength or the relative vulnerability that gets wired in early is carried forward over time. So it's never too late to help kids. It's never too late to attend to their physical health or their emotional health or social well-being. But uh, the earlier that we're able to identify risk, the more effective, the easier, the, the more economical uh, the interventions and the course corrections are.